the guys run embargo, please, for 10.30 this evening. Hi, Pat. Can you just confirm, when does Sergio Aguero's current contract end, please? Which year? Is it 2019 or 2020? Please. I don't know. You don't know? Because in September you said um, that you thought he was going to sign an extension soon, but it hadn't yet happened. So has that not happened? He has already extended the contract. Extension? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think it's already done. But I said the same. So Sergio will be here until he decides to be here. He's our best striker. So we have a problem with the goal, so we need him. What I want is the best as possible. He will decide. May I will decide. Okay. May last question on this. Very politely. Is it not a bit odd that you don't know when it ends, his contract? He's one of your star players. Sorry? Is it not a little bit strange that you don't know the year, the specific no. year, his contract No, ends? because I am focused. Of course, I know the people who finish the contract. For the people he has one or two or three more years, the contract is uh, is not finished that year, that season, the contract. So I know the people who is going to finish the contract that season to prepare the next season. But the people who has one or two or three more years, the contract is not my worry because I have a lot of stuff to do, a lot of things to do, to thinking about that things. What I want is uh, help to Sergio Bero, Sergio to, to play as best as possible. That is my target. Pat, Gabriel Jesus has been training for a few weeks now. Um, how long has he been ready to play? I said before, he's ready. Physically, he's ready, but of course, he never played one friendly game with us. Of course, not an official game. You have to see how he's impacting, how is the best moment to, to help us to, to start to play. Did he settle quickly into training? Yeah. Uh, Fernandinho and Fernando help us a lot to translate what I say and uh, and uh, he's playing, he's training good. How has he impressed you since he came? I'm happy. Pep, um, you've obviously got some talented sort of young players like Tosin, Dar Darabayo and Pablo Mafio, Alex Garcia, who haven't really had much of an opportunity this season despite maybe some of your more senior players struggling for a level of consistency. Is there a reason they haven't played more and is there a danger that it's slightly demoralising for them to see maybe some more senior players who haven't maintained that level of consistency in form you want and still not get a go? No. My advice for young player has to be consistency. If you want to achieve the goals and play in the high level, when he disappointed and he, they are sad that this will be a problem for them. So we are here to help them. So the young players, what is my point of view, where I made a mistake, you have to be a little bit careful to put it on the squad because you have to try to do it in the, to, when the team is more stable and more consistent that we are in that, that we are in that moment. He played in the Champions League against Celtic de Glasgow, for example. Maffeo played two times, those in play there and just try, try to protect them. That's all. And of course, when I see, when I see in that moment, maybe we are not ready because maybe I'm wrong. But then um, the manager and I decide that. Always, when I do, is try to protect them. And when they are there, involved with the team player, when the situation is good, so that it will going to be part of the team. Is the, is the slight problem though nowadays is that there might never be a good time. That there is always a pressured situation, whether you're battling f to finish in the Champions League qualification well, places or the title. I, 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 I'm, I'm not here to change absolutely anything. You know my opinion, but I think the second league. On the young players is not good enough. You know, it's not consistency, it's not physically strong, it's not they compete in the second teams, they are not a good league. In Spain it's a very good league, playing in a stadium with forty thousand people, forty five thousand people, the teams for the second team from Barcelona, Madrid and so on. Here, you know, play in uh, with no spectators, with a not it's not strong enough. That's why it's so difficult for the English people sometimes arrive in the big clubs like City can play for the okay teams who fight for a stay or for a dollar respect. Eh? Um, that for me, that is a real problem because I trust a lot. I grew up for the academies. And when I arrived to Barcelona with a lot of pressure because in that moment we are not able to train, you don't train anymore. And immediately Busquets played and Pedro played and immediately uh, arrived because I knew for the second team the year before and they play and they settled because I love to work with the young people, I love to, to work with the people because the passion, the young people, the how help in the training sessions, because the intensity is higher, because they have passion, they want to build his own career 
is much much easier. But of course, I have to see when they are able to do that. Because when you speak with the second team, how important games they play. See, they play football, but they don't. I think it's a real problem for English football. If you accept my 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 opinion, of course. You are smarter than me and know exactly what is the situation. You are going to decide for yourself. But it will be good for the English football, for the national team, for the young players complete in a strong league against the strong teams and maybe older than them and physical, stronger than them. Because after that, you arrive here, you have to play against strong and difficult teams here on the Champions League. Pep, um, f from the outside, the... the Situation with the goalkeeper looks to be a real problem for you. He, he looks like he hasn't got confidence. He looks he, he doesn't really make any saves. Um, now, obviously, you know him better than anybody, but have you at any time given any consideration to taking him out of the team for a Premier League game? My consideration is like uh, like a manager now. When I was a football player, would this kind of situation happen? Is to be close as much as possible to him. To analyze what happened in the terms in the global football, not in the, in the aspects like a team, not like an aspect. But of course, all the goalkeepers, all the players, of course, it depends on my decisions. But until now, I am convinced he's a good player, he's a good goalkeeper. But, but good goalkeepers have periods when they don't play well. Yeah. And he is, appears to be having one of those periods. Do you not, do you not see, agree I'm with going, that? What, when I'm going to consider that, I'm going to think about that. But in that moment, is still in the goals because I think when I speak with, the, with Xavi and Mancisidor, he will stay in the goal. Just, just going back to Sergio, uh, for all his goals this season, uh, he hasn't scored against... I don't think any of the top seven sides. Is that something that you and he are aware of and perhaps have discussed? Because mm. the margins are so small, aren't they, in those big games? He knows that, he, I know that, but uh, we, just, we don't discuss about that. He won't score against the top team, the low teams. So. But uh, uh, here to try to help him to score against the top teams. Is it more a case that he hasn't had the chances in those games? I know he hasn't played in a couple of them because of the suspension. Uh, look, no, of course, seven games banned. Uh, it's a lot of games with an aggressive player like Sergio. Uh, but of course, he won a he won a scores, and sometimes we he had the chances. Just review and Chelsea game how many chances he had. So he had the chances. We had the chances. So. Last game, the cross from Sergio for nothing don't arrive, so they are there. So, but so for the money, I don't know the other managers like a manager to give some advices in the box to score a goal. So, if it is so difficult to improve, it depends on the quality of the, of the players. For example, the second goal against Burnley is almost impossible to realize to, to you know to achieve it to do it, and, and he did it. So, that means he's uh, his talent. Uh, just back on Claudio Bravo, do you feel in any way he's struggled given the changes you've made in defence? He's not really played in front of a settled Maybe. back four, back three, Maybe. Dif different personnel. Do you, do you feel that that could Maybe. be behind his performances? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Would you, and do you feel he needs, a goalkeeper needs to have a, a defence with whom he has an mm. understanding? Yeah, maybe. So do you think you take responsibility for that? Yeah, question? all the responsibility. I'm the manager. So you have to accept what uh, what happened right now about uh, about my job, of course. I'm be willing to to accept that. So what happened in the club? I said many many times in the team. I said many times. So in the first moment, I reacted, oh pity. In the second one, I look myself. It's what I want for my players to like themselves individually to know what they can do better. So always after five minutes, finish the same the game and see what I can I do to to get in better that team. I never in my life I could blame for bad result to the reason why so I never did I don't do it I never do the reason why we lost is for Claudio Bravo is there one of the reasons why but there are many many other reasons why mm -hmm. so before Lukaku scored the first goal for put an example we have a three three four clear 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 chances the one against one against the goalkeeper so when I try to analyze, I try not to affect for one thing for the other thing. So that is it. But maybe 
the reason why, because they change the defense, maybe. We will never know that. I'm sorry. I would, I would like to know exactly 100%, and I will not answer maybe. I will answer you, yeah, that's true. So, I never know. Okay, last couple just standing, guys. Pep, can you see a time where yeah, we'll go. Gabriel Jesus and Sergio Aguero play up front as a, as a combination, sorry? as a partnership? Sorry. Can you see Sergio and Gabriel Jesus yeah. playing as a, as a two together. up front? Yeah. yeah. Definitely can play together, yeah. It depends on the way we're going to play, but uh, they can play together. How would their qualities sort of help you? Sort of? He is a, a guy who likes to run in behind. Uh, he attacks the goal and uh, he can play in central, a little bit left, and diagonals to inside. So, in both positions, like he play in uh, Palmeiras in the national team with Brazil. Pep, do you believe in your players in the same way that you believed in your players at Barcelona and at Bayern Munich? Absolutely, yes. What is it that gives you that belief? Because I see them every day. And I know how we want to do the best as possible. Are they as good as those players? They are good players. I have a respect for the guys. So why am I going to say that guys are not good? So I, I, I don't, sometimes I don't understand the lack of respect for the professionals when passing, play amazing careers in amazing football games. Now it's not, they are not a golf for me. Maybe I'm not good enough for them. They are a Manchester City players, a top players with a lot of quality. They, they show that, that season many times, many, many times and, and show in the past. Well, sorry. I like to work with them. Okay. And uh, I want to help them and I'm going until the last day here. And I want to stay long as much as possible and more than ever. I want to stay, I want to help them, I want to make that gap between a top team for the excellent teams, there's a more difficult gap to achieve because when you are moving in the 10, in the 11, in the position and to achieve the gap to be the best four is difficult, but more difficult is to achieve the four to the first and stay there for a long time. And I want to help them. And maybe the expectations about my coming here, it was so excessive. Now you realize your comment, it was so exaggerated. Maybe our 10 games in a row in a row winning games and uh, maybe the people expect how good uh, we were, so now is the reality. I'm going to build up, I'm working on that and uh, and I will be the first to recognize or to be the first when I am not able, we are not able to do that, to speak with the club to take a solution. But why could I not fight that? So the life of the managers for the, 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 the football players is that situation, is the sad situation. So. So the exception is what I live in my period, like a manager eight years, always winning, winning, winning. So, but the average for the winners and losers was unexpected. So my life in my career, like a manager, is completely satisfied. And I want to leave that situation. I want to leave it. So I would prefer to be in top, but it's not that situation. And uh, I want to handle that. It's my first time in my life I handle that. I want to handle that. But like situation is good, now I'm going to say my players are not good. Sorry, Pep, I wasn't asking you to say that. I wasn't disrespecting your players or the commitment. I asked you if they were at the level of Bayern Munich or Barcelona. That was the question. Cause, sorry, can I just take you back to when you talked When you say that, it's because they don't have the quality the, against Bayern Munich in Barcelona. And that teams, when they play good, they play good. Huh? So the, 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 times, the times we play good, not results, they play good, is much, was much quicker than made the pass in the both other teams. It was quicker, the way we play better. But we are not consistently. We are not. Because we are able to win three games, but we are not sure in the four games we are going to win. And that is a big problem. In my point of view, it's because now is the situation when we arrive there, we don't score. And we have a chance. In the big teams, they have the quality right there, and they are machines. So, but it's the, that's the most difficult to correct. And when they arrive, they concede. And we concede, and they score goals. And that is a bucle. See so many, many games that happened. It was one to twice. It's okay, it's one to twice. When it happened the first time, twice, I wasn't lucky. I wasn't lucky. Oh, I wasn't lucky. But it's many times not unlucky. Something happened. And I'm thinking, we are thinking how you correct that. Of course, you can play better, but we changed many things from the beginning. And, uh, and sometimes you need more time. And if they give me time, I will do until the end to fight with them. They don't give me time. Okay, unlucky. Okay, Pep, sorry, can I just ask? Just, yeah, just, 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 just the young... 
When you mentioned about your young players not getting the same intensity in matches in, in the B team, effectively here, what is your solution for that? That they don't create run? create a good second league, a second division, a good a good second league. And what level would that be? At? Would that be you'd have the Premier League and then that would effectively be the Championship, or would you find another way to do it? I think the quality of the young players is the quality. If it's serving the you're under 18, 19, 19, or under 20, and you have the quality, you can play wherever. So that is the, the point. But to feel the pressure, for example, the second teams don't play in it, the atmosphere that they play in the Premier League games on the second, in the second. Why we cannot create, for example, Manchester City or United, the second team, a second team team, and build up in the gap, they cannot play, for example, in the championship against Newcastle. Can't. Newcastle against Newcastle. Oh, okay. yes, I uh, play uh, the second team for the United or City or Tottenham or uh, these kind of things. So all the teams in the Premier League, the second teams, if they deserve, and they win in the conference one and the all leagues and go and compete in Newcastle. And playing in front of this huge, huge amount of people to play in there with 18 years old, with 19 years old. That is prepare the future in English football and of course for Manchester City. But they play here in Middle Fest Stadium and sometimes here with nobody with the teams. And after you have to put it there in the Champions League game or um, in Old Trafford or in a, against much Mauricio Pochettino team. That is my point of view because they inform on that. It's not because I am a big expert of that. But uh, the people here told me that the second league or the second teams or the play the second team of the big clubs, something happened. The reason why I don't know. We've all focused on Bravo's weaknesses and his negatives. Can you talk about the positives that he's brought? That are you, do you feel that the changes worked from from Joe to Claudio? Are you happy that it's working? That the the idea that you brought is, is now a success, or do you think we have to give Bravo time? I think that, uh, like like you know, the Premier League is a special for crosses, for the decisions, for for many things, and maybe everybody in this time, me too, and. Uh, but I don't. I, I know for a year the problem is uh, Claudio and sometimes John Stone. So, but like a manager, I try to make analysis more more global. So, and uh, I try to be gentle with my players. To I feel I can help him, and I wanted that. That's why the reason why I'm here. And uh, and when this kind of situation happened, I had to discover why and I speak with him, speak with the goalkeeper trainer, and help him. So. That is what it is. That is what I made on my careers, on my past. Of course, the, most of the players, they are not comfortable with me, especially when they don't play. Because, but always I try to find a way. They get in bed and to find a solution the the situation. Okay.